Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting hard drives and RAID arrays. Today we're going to talk about common symptoms of problems and common tools to fix those problems. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We're going to begin by talking about common symptoms of problems. And the first one we're going to discuss today is read-write failures. The most likely cause of read-write failures are bad clusters. The failure rate tends to be low for bad clusters, but they do still occur and are much more likely as the system ages. Read-write failures are usually caused by a physical defect on the drive. Slow performance of a hard drive or rate array is another symptom that you will more than likely come across. The most likely cause is fragmentation. The more fragmented a drive is, the more seek time is required to retrieve the requested files and or data. One that you hope never to come across, but more than likely you will, is a loud clicking noise. The most likely cause is the read head contacting the platter. And that's not a clock ticking. Well, it is actually, because now you're on the clock. You have a limited amount of time to get that drive replaced before it fails. You need to get it backed up and replaced as soon as possible. Failure to boot or operating system not found errors can be caused by a hard drive or a RAID array. The most likely cause is that you're booting to the wrong drive. You should check the BIOS setting, but it can also be indicative of an operating system error. Every once in a while, you'll get a drive not recognized error. And the most likely cause is dependent upon which kind of drive it is. For an external drive, it will more than likely be a file system or partition issue. For an internal drive, it, it's going to be caused either by a BIOS setting or a cabling issue. Now let's move on to some RAID-specific symptoms, like RAID not found. The most likely cause for that is an incorrect driver. Most often, RAID is set up as an external enclosure with their own drivers, so you need to make sure that you use the correct one for your operating system. If your RAID was working and then the RAID stops working, the most likely cause is a disk or disks failure. In a RAID 0, this is a big problem, as your data will be difficult to recover. In other RAID setups, that just means it's time to find the failed disk and replace it. It's not common, but a hard drive or a RAID array can cause a blue screen of death. The most likely cause for this is the incorrect driver. So guess what the corrective action is? Use the correct driver. Now let's talk about some common tools that are used in troubleshooting hard drives and RAID arrays. Guess what? Your first tool is a screwdriver or a set of screwdrivers. These get you in, into the case or into the enclosure so that you can remove a drive. Speaking about removing a drive, there's also external enclosures. This allows a suspect drive to be accessed from an operational system for diagnosis and repair. Another tool is check disk. Actually, it's a utility, but it's a common tool that's used to fix read and write failure and operating systems not found issues. It checks the physical surface of the disk and can do repairs and recovery in certain cases. Then there's the format utility. It's commonly used to fix an incorrect file system structure. Then there's also defrag, which is used for defragmentation of a hard drive to improve the performance of a hard disk or RAID array. And the final tool that's used when troubleshooting hard drives and RAID arrays is file recovery software. This is used to recover data from a drive that has had a problem. Now that concludes this session on troubleshooting hard drives and RAID arrays. We talked about common symptoms and then common tools used to fix or troubleshoot hard drives. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I'm sure I'll do another one real soon.